I am Dr. Rahul Bhargav, Director of Hematology at Fortis Gurgaon. Let's talk about blood cancer. The moment blood cancer comes into your name and to picture, there are two things which happens. One, it's like a death sentence. Second thing, it is a non-curable, very expensive treatment. Dear friends, at FMRI, we are bound to make that myth broken because we say, the banner says, blood cancer is no longer a death sentence and I'll ask, prove it, why? As we are all human beings, we are all different. All males are different, all females are different. Similarly, blood cancers are, is a variant which has conglomeration of 100-150 cancers, which means you are treating all those blood cancers with the same stick, which is not true. So let me put into the perspective, in past 17 years, diseases like CML, chronic myeloid leukemia, marked by high WBC count and splenomegaly, people are surviving close to 15 to 20 years by just taking one oral pill, what is called imatinib. Isn't that strange? We always thought with the blood cancers, our hair will fall, we will die. A drug, a single drug has been able to make 80% people survive for close to 15 years. In CLL, a better understanding of a disease called chronic lymphocytic leukemia, where people tend to go with a high TLC count in the elderly age group to the people. 80% of people don't require the treatment and the rest 20% people can easily survive for close to 5 to 10 years. Similarly, success story is multiple myeloma, where you give chemotherapy which is devoid of hair loss, nausea and vomiting because we are all afraid of chemotherapy. The commonest thing which comes to chemotherapy is a hair fall. The commonest thing which comes to a mind is nausea, vomiting and patient becoming more sicker. But let me tell you, all this has been replaced by a newer chemotherapeutic therapeutic agents which are more faster, more targetable and the patient can go early to home. Diseases like AML and ALL, there's a better risk stratification. We know there's a diseases, AML and ALL could be good, bad and ugly. Good only requires chemotherapy, bad and ugly requires early bone marrow transplant to cure these people. Aplastic anemia, lymphomas, the success story is written all across. Talk about lymphomas, a particular type of lymphoma which is called diffuse large B cell lymphoma, 80% people are surviving now by virtue of a single drug called rituximab. Dear friends, what is required is to be intolerant to your own body. Intolerance when we say, when you are fatigued, go to a doctor. If you have a lump in anywhere in the body, in the cervical region, in the armpits, in the abdomen, go to a doctor and ask to get a biopsy done. What a paradox, we have taken iPhone from US, where 80% of cancers are being diagnosed as stage one. And in India, still 80% cancers are diagnosed as stage three and stage four. When we say blood cancer is a death sentence, that was an era when all these cancers were picked up at stage 3 and stage 4. Times are now changing. So success stories have been all written for CML, CLL, multiple myeloma, AML, myelodysplastic syndrome, lymphomas. And for sure we know if we can diagnose these disorders early, we can beat blood cancers. There are umpteen number of patients who have gone undergone transplants, early transplants for AML and ALLs who are surviving now. So let's combine our efforts together to say we will beat blood cancers by diagnosing them early and getting the state of the art treatment which is more affordable and less expensive and very targeted to the disease itself.